If you start with the technology, if you start with the platform, you'll only ever be able to fulfill what that platform can do. It's like just railroading your brain into a hole rather than opening it up, which should be what this brave new world's all about. And that's the exciting bit. And this actually became a bit of a mantra for our writer's room. Don't talk about technology. We just don't. For the first three quarters of the process, we don't mention platforms, we don't talk about technology, we talk about anything. We do about audience a lot. That's a different thing. The idea is that technology becomes an answer to the question. It becomes a solution to the dramatic problem. It becomes, I want to create this experience, now what device, platform, tool is going to be the best for me to deliver that on? Rather than, I want to make an iPad app. I want to make a, a, you know, a console game. And that, look, that can work. Not to say it can't. Not to say this is the only way to do it. But I think you do railroad yourself in, a, in a quite a destructive way. Rather than, let's design a world that's so pressurized and so interesting that it could be on any platform in all kinds of ways, and let's discover the best ones. So it's about creating a process of discovery. World first, then plot. And this, this is the point where a lot of the writers go, ooh, hang on. Ooh, back, back the truck up. Uh, I'm a writer, I think in terms of plot and action, causality and characters and events, you're telling me I can't talk about those things? Well, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm suggesting that if you start talking about a plot, you'll make a feature film. And that's great, but it won't help you do this if this is what you want to do. You need to think about the world in order to make discoveries about the plots. World first, then plot. Because if you can pressurize the world, make the world so interesting, so fraught, so under pressure, so ready to pop in all kinds of ways, whether they're high stakes or low stakes, it doesn't matter, then you will naturally find your plots, many of them. And you're going to need many of them, not just one. This is, this is absolutely analogous to television series writing. And you can spot a feature film writer who's trying to write a television series every time. Because that television series, you go, yep, that's got three episodes in it, and then there's nothing left. Whereas a really good television series has an engine that is sustainable, whether it's sitcom or drama or so on. So the, the principles there, television writers kind of get this idea. Design the world first into which certain characters will exist.